So what we've talked about are principles of psychology that when taken together and used by uh, lawyers can have a powerful effect on the way that a jury views a case. You take your evidence in the case, you create a trial story from it by looking at it from the viewpoint of every single person who has any knowledge of it, look at it in the first person to give yourself the best possible view, putting yourself in the position and hopefully in the mindset of the person who is testifying, the witness, the party, the defendant, whoever. And then you formulate from this a trial story. And then in the course of formulating your trial story, you think in terms of the availability bias. What are the most important points that I need this jury to understand? Where do I need to keep the focus? As a general proposition, the focus will be on the bad conduct of the defendant, the numerous positive choices that the defendant made which were with adverse results, the fact that the defendant was in control of the circumstances, the fact that the defendant was acting purposively, and the plaintiff was reacting to circumstances created by the defendant. Then the norm bias and the hindsight bias, the choices, it all comes down to the power of choice. So you want to prove as many possible choices made by the defendant as possible, and that will cause the irritation factor to kick in, more likelihood of finding causation, and more likelihood of finding larger damages. And finally, when you tell your story, first presentation, opening statement, and then a summation, you want to tell the story in the present tense. Because what you're trying to do is communicate with the unconscious mind. And the unconscious mind which is a part of the brain where all decision-making takes place. The unconscious mind communicates only in the present tense. It does not communicate in the future, does not communicate in the past. So when you tell your story, you tell your story in the present tense in order to communicate directly with the portion of the brain where all decision-making takes place.